Here's an example of a Pentair Superflow variable speed pump running. The system is currently running on a single 2-inch line for the suction and a single 2-inch line for the discharge side. Now, the pump is already running here at 500 RPM, which is to say an extremely low RPM value. Now, would it be worthwhile running your pool on you know such a low rpm well it's hard to say because every single swimming pool is different but when you have a flow meter such that you can monitor the flow rates you could just come over and take a look like i am here and you'll see that we are achieving solidly 13 gallons per minute and at times up to 14 gallons per minute let's take a look here at the power consumption Sixty-one and a half watts is the is how much power the pump is consuming. Sixty-one and a half watts in order to achieve thirteen between thirteen and fourteen gallons per minute. So what if you what if you ran your pump like that for fifteen hours? Let's break down that equation here really quick. So if you've got fourteen gallons per minute times 60 minutes gives you 840 gallons per hour that you're able to get. I chose 15 hours as a suitably long run time because you want long hours of low RPM running for a variable speed pump, but your pool and the peripheral items on your pool still need periods of time at medium speeds and higher speed operation. But 15 hours is a nice long chunk of time because as you'll see, after 15 hours, we're able to achieve 12,600 gallons of filtered water. It's actually quite a bit of filtered water considering, considering how crazy low 500 RPM is. It's so low, you basically have to put your hand on the pump to feel if it's running or not. So we've achieved 12,600 gallons of filtered water. Now let's look at the cost of that. It's about 61 watts, just a shade over 61 watts. And it's running for 15, 15 hours like that. And that's about 945 watts or 0.945 kilowatts. When you pay for your power, you pay by the kilowatt hour and the national average is 13 cents per kilowatt hour. And we have just under one kilowatt of consumption. So in total, that's 12 cents that you pay in order to filter 12,600 gallons of water. And again, the goal is to not run your, your pump like that 24 hours a day, but for long periods of time throughout the day, such that you can achieve some pretty impressive flow volumes and filtered water for a pretty low price tag. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.